Hello, good people, and welcome to Finance Skills Hub. Here, we learn, we connect, and we grow. In the last few months, Microsoft Excel has seen an amazing addition of new functions and features. Hopefully, you're taking advantage of it to save time and improve productivity at work. In this short video, we are going to look at one recent addition, which is the new image function. It allows you to bring in images from web or from your cloud sources. So in this short video, we are going to look at an example where we can bring in images we've stored in our Google Drive, an HR dashboard that allows you to see the faces of each employee as you call their names. So join me in Excel and let's go through this in a few minutes. So here is my HR dashboard inspired by Bas Doman's fitness tracker app, which he built in Power BI. So this is my Excel version, which has images of the Finex team here. So this is Osbert, okay. Ferdinand is here. And then there's also Na. So the new data validation feature just allows you to type a name and it pops up. Okay, so Daniel is here. Okay, and then we have Ernest. And then we have Dewinga. Okay, and yours truly is also here. Okay, so you see how dynamic it is and this is made possible because of the new image function it's a pretty straightforward function that allows you to grab any image from the web it's built to bring images from the web but there's a workaround to also bring images from your google drive or your onedrive so i'm going to use a very simple example i'm going to the finest website and over here I'm grabbing one of these images so you just right click and then you choose copy image address so I'll use the copy image address here I can paste it in the cell okay like this okay and then equal to image and then just select the source okay so just like that it will just pull up the image okay when you hover you get a bigger view okay there's a few options here so you can decide to put in an alt test. You can also size it to fill the cell, which is useful for what we are going to do. And then you can also bring in your custom height or width if you want. Okay, so all these options are available. Okay, so now how do we bring images from Google Drive into our workbook? So for starters, you need to have the images uploaded. So here in my Google Drive, I have a staff folder that has all the images here. Okay, so when the images are displayed like this, you can get the link by just clicking on get link. So in this case, I'm getting the link for Chris Love. You need to make sure that it's set to public view. Okay, so you change this to anyone with a link. I've already done that. And then you copy this link. Okay, so I've now copied this link. Now, when I come here, um, I would have to embed this, okay, into this default prefix, okay. So, all that you need is to provide the unique image ID, okay, after this prefix. So, I'm going to delete this first row and I show you how I created this. So, in my Google Drive space, I paste what I just copied. So I need just the part after the D. So from this point to that point is what I need. And of course I can use an Excel formula to extract this. So to extract that, I'm going to use text after. So text after requires a text. Okay, I'll bring my comma and the delimiter is going to be the D and the forward slash. So it is after this delimiter that we need to do the extraction. So when I do that, I just get the code. So with this, I need to now get rid of the forward slash onwards part. Okay, I just need the code. So I can also do this using text before. Okay, so text before. Okay, my original text is here. Okay, and this time around, I'm bringing the forward slash. Right, if you like, the instance number can be one just to be sure so at this point 
anytime I bring in that Google link, I make sure that I have that unique ID, okay, which I'm going to now join with my prefix or the beginning URL. So I'll select this, which is fixed, and then I'll join using the ampersand. So that is going to be my full URL. And with this, when I use the image function, it will pull the image. So let's try it. So equal to image. Okay. And then I put in this. So, so that is Pressler. Okay. So I can now do an X lookup. Okay. So that when I select a particular person, the image comes along. Now, before we do that, let me just delete this. Okay, so I'm going to do an X lookup. I can use a V lookup or index match depending. I'll come to my dashboard. Okay, this is where I select the staff name. Okay, then I'll bring a comma, switch to my calculations. My lookup array is just the range of names. So I'll select this range, bring a comma. My result is going to come from this range of unique links for each staff. Okay, then so this is going to bring that person's link and of course you can now run the image around this so the image will now come and i'll put in the option to fill cell okay so this is osbert's image right now the trick to putting it in the oval shape is simple once it has filled the cell okay you can just copy so control C and then you come to your destination okay and then you go to home and then under home in the clipboard section you choose paste as linked picture okay so when I do this I can now place this side by side okay this original one so let's test and be sure that it's responding okay so Priscilla is here I choose now okay and then I have Daniel okay so that is how responsive it is now the last thing is because this is a linked image it behaves like a shape or a picture so I can go to my picture and then I can crop this to shape okay so I'll crop this to this oval shape okay then holding my shift I can drag down and then make sure the proportions are well aligned okay so I have something like this so with this, I can now fit it nicely in my shape, okay, and then my dashboard is now alive. So now if I choose any, okay, I just get the image displayed. It's a beautiful addition and I'm sure it's going to get better very soon. If you don't have access to it, it's just coming your way to your channel very soon if you're on Microsoft 365. So that you can easily bring down images either from online from onedrive or from google drive so please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks thanks for watching if this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your whatsapp you can send ad to this whatsapp number we'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly you can also visit our youtube channel finest skills hub all our old videos are here Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.